Hey everyone, Allison here. So tomorrow is my Wacky Wednesday and I totally forgot what today was. So I'm doing it now. It's like, oh, what time is it? Oh, good Lord. It's midnight. Anyhow, so I'm going to just show you some things that I have been doing. If you um, are in my Facebook group, then you've already kind of seen some of the pictures of these. Um, if you want to join my Facebook group, it's the link will be um, down below in the description. It's where you can show off the things, you know, the crafty things that you're doing. You know, talk about recipes, you know, your gardening, show pictures, you know, things like that. Make new friends. Alright. So I'll show you some things that I did. I made... I'm in a group where they... Um, share things. Um, homemade or stickers or... I don't know. Um, pocket letters. Things like that. Um, one gal... Um, I tagged. I believe it was a tag... Um, or maybe it was a hap make a wish Tuesday or something like that. I don't know. Anyhow, she was wanting um, homemade envelopes and some recipes. I'll go into the recipe thing here in a moment. But I did make her some envelopes. So, here we go. I made her, I don't know, probably 16. I did some heavy cardstock on some. And then some out of just paper. But each one has um, different designs. I kept them pretty simple. Like the design's pretty simple. Um, so, anyhow, made some envelopes there. And then, don't mind, this is my craft table. And the paper needs to get changed out. Here are some Christmas cards that I made. Like I said, if you follow me on my Facebook group, you will have already seen a picture of these kind of like laid out. But here you go. I didn't put anything on um, the inside. I figured I'd let... Whoever gets these, do that part. But here is this card. I thought that was cute. I thought that one was adorable. It just kind of gives me that, like... I don't know, that country feel, that farmhouse feel, I don't know. Like I said, I kept the insides blank. Now my daughter come up with this, well, this this one and another one, if I can find. Oh, it's in the on the bottom. I'll show you the other one. She kind of come up with this design. I thought that was so adorable. He's got the cookies. She's got the milk. But... Then there's this one. I love this one. It's so adorable. That one. Just simple. Not overdone, but it's got... I don't know. I think it's got a nice, simple design to it. Um, I still need to put a white... Um, piece of cardstock so that they can put the message. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see it in that. Joyful wishes. I love this one. Both of these remind me of um, like a chalkboard. This is May the Little Things Bring You Happiness. Here's the other one that my daughter come up with. So cute. And here's my favorite. It's got the vellum on it. And then I put 
the one piece underneath, well, the two pieces underneath, and then the one piece on top, and then here. here. This is um, embossing. Oops, dropping things. This one right here. So that's how I what I used for that right there. All right. So now that that is done, I'll show you the other two. Well, other things that I have done. I made this recipe book. Let me see if I can't bring it up a little bit. So you can see the whole book. So this is washi tape. All of these like little dark pieces that you're seeing. And then you got... Um, a pocket right here, you know, put like your notes or whatever. Place to put a recipe, more recipes or notes or whatever. This says, let's gather together, homemade, warm and cozy, busy but blessed. really pretty and then just a simple decoration this actually has measuring so I thought that was really cool so you know a tablespoon is three teaspoons a third cup is five tablespoons plus one teaspoon I don't know I thought that was really neat and I just got the best is yet to come better every day didn't put a pocket on this one just because it has a pocket here. And then over here, this is bliss. The moments you can't put into words. Let's take classic. And then it's got a pocket here. And the next one. Just another simple place pocket, you know, and she can add other things that she wants, you know, to it. And then on this side, I just added some things into the pocket. Just to kind of show that that's what this is, is a pocket. And then here, another, just another pocket, another place to put the things. Left it pretty simple so that she can add her own. Then this one I definitely left plain so that, you know, she could put like notes. Oops, bump ya. She could put notes of her own recipe here. But again, another pocket. And this says, beautiful. And then again, another area that left blank and a pocket. And it's got some more of the measurings right here. And then another one. This one says, thankful. And my heart is full. And then blank so she could add a picture or whatever. Again, another pocket. And it says, bless this kitchen. And then same with this. Left it pretty blank. And it says, made with love. Another pocket. She can fill whatever she wants there. And then the back. The friends. Let's gather together. And then made with love. So, I made that recipe book. And then for my nephew's new bride, um, they just got married. I made her a couple of books. One is for where she can write down, like, 
um, addresses or um, birthdays, anniversaries, things like that. Just dates for her to remember. So she can put whatever she wants here. I just decorated it with some stickers and then all of these little speckles is this right here. And then on the inside, it's just simple. I did put like a little bookmark. Same with the inside and then the back I just left plain. So that's how I did that book. And then her, I made her also a recipe book. It says Total Foodie Eat. No pocket on the front. I did stick this one up. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. With some foam tape. Just so it kind of gave it a little bit of a dimension. And then here, just a little pocket. No pocket on here. Just some decoration. These tabs I did different. Again, no pocket. But she's got an area where she can write one of her favorite recipes. Left it pretty blank so that she could put whatever she wanted right here. And same with here, left this blank, but she does have a card here. So she can add whatever, like notes or whatever. And then this one, again, a recipe area, some decoration. This one, again, an area for a recipe, but this one has um, a pocket and I made did I make no I thought I made this one I maybe I made the other one I guess four I made one of these into oh no I was going to and I forgot about it and I had glued it so I was gonna make this into a pocket but I forgot and I actually glued the whole thing but a place where she can put again another recipe and then just decoration. I liked this because it's got the measurements here. And then on this one, little knives and forks. Decoration. And then this is a pocket. And then just a simple back. So that is what I've been doing. Busy, busy, busy. And they take so much time. I'd like to say that, oh yeah, you can whip it out an hour. No, you can't. At least I can't. I am not that fast. You know, because the measuring and the cutting and, oh my gosh. And then the folding and, yeah. But, yep. Yeah, so, that is what I have been doing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more on how I make these, let me know down below in the comments. And, Maybe I'll make a video of how I create these books. So, or the cards, even if you guys liked the cards, you know, or if you want to see how I make the homemade, oops, um, envelopes, let me know and I'll, you know, I can definitely show you how I do that. So, all right. Everything's going to slide. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I will see you guys on Friday. To see you. Friday is my crafty Friday. So that's, I'll see you then because I've got an awesome announcement. So look forward to Fridays. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Love y'all. Bye.